Letting go. Letting go is one of the hardest things in the world to do. Just letting go and saying, you know, fuck it. Fuck everything. And I notice a lot of us have trouble with just letting go. A lot of us have fell in love with what's like we fell in love with the problem you ever think about that you ever think about how many times you fell in love with a problem you ever you ever realize how many times the problem made you think that you you need the problem you ever thought about that you ever really looked at a situation and said I don't need this. All the negatives don't match the positives. None of them. None of the negatives match the positives. It's not even the even number. It's not nowhere near close. Close to an even number. Sometimes I think about that. I go, Daylight, you got to leave. You got to get the fuck out of there. Because it don't add up. You know what's crazy? You can't help a problem. You can't help a problem. You can never help a problem. Problems are put in the world to be problems. You can't help people who are cancer to this planet. You can't. They were put in this world to remain a cancer to the planet. You can't help them. No matter how much you try, you have to understand species. You have to understand breeds of species. You have to understand how species work. Some people were placed inside of this world specifically to be your problem. They are the reason why you are in a fucked up situation. They were placed here for you. They were bred, created by the programmers to be that fucking spine in your foot. Hold on real quick. I got to use it gas Like I was saying, you ever think about, you ever think about someone who could be right next to you could also be sent to destroy you? You ever think about that? You ever think about like a best friend, right? A best friend can be a demon. And they'll, they'll trick you into believing that 
they're your friend. You ever think about this? You ever sit next to people and they tell you, man, do this or do that. Or man, you ain't gonna do that, or you ain't really, you not, you ain't like that, or you ever think that you got people that claim they're your friends that tell you to do all the wrong shit? You ever think about that? You know why, you know why Mac Miller dead? You want me to tell you why Mac Miller dead? Because he thought he had friends. You want me to tell you why Lil Peep and all these niggas dead? Because they thought they had friends. These niggas is dead because they thought they had friends. Let me tell you why all these niggas depressed and all these niggas fucked up in this world. Because you believe that you got friends. These niggas, these niggas ain't your friends. These niggas is demons, bro. These niggas ain't your friends. These people, these girls ain't your girlfriend. These motherfucking boys ain't your boyfriend. These niggas are demons sent to destroy you. They, they not your friends, man. Your friend ain't gonna never tell you to do no shit that you know gonna get you fucked up. Your friend ain't gonna never tell you, hey man, chug that whole bottle of fucking alcohol. Your friend ain't gonna never tell you, yo man, you you a bitch, man. You can't handle the drink. You need to drink more. Your friend ain't gonna tell you that. Your friend not gonna tell you, yeah man, you should fucking do this shit, bro. That ain't a friend. That's a demon. That ain't no motherfucking friend. Nah. That ain't no friend, bud. Yo, if you know the friend to tell you, hey, bro, this ain't the right thing to be doing, man. Like, you should get your life right, dog. Like, that shit is really not good for you. For now or alone. Like, a friend gonna tell you the truth. And you know what's crazy? A friend gonna tell you the truth even if it hurts your feelings. Friends don't give a fuck about your, your short-term feelings. They give a fuck about your long-term feelings. A friend, a friend gonna tell you the truth whether you wanna hear it or not. Somebody call you and tell you, hey man, feel me like, I don't think you should be doing it like that. How the fuck you gonna tell me how some shit supposed to be working when you ain't doing the shit yourself? You know, these ain't no friends, man. These people ain't your friends. Look, man. You in a relationship, you got a girlfriend that don't agree with, like, your productive side. That ain't your friend. That's a demon trying to stop you. You in a relationship where you got to be out, you got to be working, you got to be networking, you got to be taking photography and all this type of shit. You got to do all whatever you're doing. If you really doing the right thing in your life and you feel like you're doing the right thing and that motherfucker always mad and you really not doing anything wrong, that motherfucker always mad, that's a demon. That's somebody designed to stop you, bro. You fell in love with the girl in the red dress. That's a demon, bro. You got family members, moms, cousins, sisters, uncles, daddies that always on the negative. Those are demons, man. Look, you can't be afraid to let go. You just can't. You can't be afraid to let go of that type of shit. You can't. You got to be able to say, you know what? I see what this is. You know what's the problem, though? We get so caught up in this word, I love. And then love times with time. 
So you got love and time, and you think love and time mean something. So you get stuck. Oh, well, time has been about this many years, or, or that's my cousin, or that's my mom, or that's my... Man, fuck all that. Fuck all of that shit. Fuck that. I'm telling y'all this. Don't be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid to let go. Let go of all of this shit. Let go of friends. Let go of family. Let go of relationships. Let go of everything. Let it go. All of it. Everything. Let it all go. Let it go. Especially if you really not happy. If you ain't happy at all. Let it go. All of it. 